Hello, I'm Alex and this is Ginger Head & Co, my sewing vlog. This is going to be a haul, haul of everything, haul of some patterns, some fabrics, some gadgets, a bit of everything really. I haven't done one for a while because I just didn't really feel like buying anything, but I got a box of patterns from the lovely Naomi. Uh, Naomi's not somebody who sews as far as I know, she's my dog friend somebody who knows about dogs and likes dogs, but uh, she had some vintage patterns that she didn't use. And you might remember that she had sent me a huge box of patterns some time ago and uh, she sent me another one. Uh, this one is smaller. That's, that's the box of vintage patterns that she sent me. I will probably never need to buy another pattern ever in my life. Not all of them are usable. Some of them miss bits and some of them are not my size but the ones that are not my size are going to find a home and some are repeats because I've got so many that some some of them are repeats so I'm going to part with some but I quickly wanted to show you some <laughs> that I really really like unfortunately there were quite a few that I really liked that were not usable so I put them away and I'll think about it because if there is a bodice missing in a dress I'm probably not going to keep the pattern but if there is something else like sleeves that I don't really use I might still use the pattern but I picked some that from this box are my favorite if you want to see them all you probably don't because that would be the longest video in <laughs> the history of YouTube probably not okay so I've got simplicity 2401 this one and I was watching Sewing Bee a couple of weeks ago or something and there was this Marilyn Monroe dress and that's quite similar. Uh, there is shearing at the back, I love it. It's, it could be a dress, um, well, it could be anything. It could be a short dress, a long dress or it could be a jumpsuit. And the back is shirt, so I quite like it, but I don't really like open backs, so we'll see. But I really want to make it and it starts with size 6, which is brilliant because even if I need to grade it down, that's not going to be a lot. I love this button. This is probably, well, one of my favorites. There were a lot that I really liked. Then there is this style 4221, right? And it's in size 12, but the sizes are not really that important, I think. That's pretty small and it's very simple and I've checked that all the pieces are here and it's very much my style. So batwing, they're not proper batwing sleeves because they are separate pieces but they look batwingy. And then Patrick 5924 I think and it's, it's a shirt dress and I love it and I would like to make this one and I think it's size 10. Size 10 in vintage patterns is usually very close to my size and contrary to what some people told me vintage patterns don't always have a lot of ease some do some don't they they don't seem to follow the same rule or it depends on how vintage it is so the ones from the 50s i haven't found that they they had that that much ease so size 12 when it says that it's for waist 22 inches i have to be careful because my waist is not 22 inches there is not that much ease. I mean, two, three inches, which is less than in most, most commercial patterns. But the newer ones, so from the 70s, 80s, yes, some of them have <laughs> gigantic ease. <laughs> I don't know if anybody needs that much ease. Then I've got this Vogue V8307. There are coats, and this one is cut to size 10, I think, which means that I can work with it because, well, I'm a smaller size. I'm not sure if all the pieces are here, but most of the pieces are definitely here, so I can do something with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with it quickly because it's a coat so, or a jacket. I need more time. And Vogue patterns generally don't fit me. They are drafted for a taller person, so I need to shorten them. And shortening all the pieces of the coat is a challenge for me. <laughs> So it scares me a bit, but we'll see. Then I've got this style. Style seems to be my favorite vintage pattern company. Style 3265. And I love this dress and I would like to make it soon, hopefully. What size is it? It's size 12 for bust 87 centimeters, waist 67 centimeters and hip 92 centimeters. So it will need to be graded down a bit, but I don't care. I really like it and it doesn't seem to be very complicated it's just a wrap dress right and there is a coat but I haven't checked if the coat is in in the envelope then I've got this Berda Berda 
one one and I like the top and I'm going to make the top and the top well they start with size eight and they do have seam allowances but I can work with that I like it I do like it I don't like the trousers or the skirt I mean well it's not for me <laughs> I don't like it means that I'm not intending to, to make it anytime soon but I might change my mind so that's that's the drawings I'm not sure how well you are going to see that if I can find them online I'll provide some drawings or pictures but some of them are not available online then I've got well I put away some of the the ones that I really like but there are pieces missing I really love this dress it's uh, style 4220 I really liked it but it hasn't got the bodice part and the bodice part is more important than the skirt part can you see any drawings Sorry for the shaky hands, it's really hot. Then style 2622. Not that my hands are shaking because it's hot. It's two separate sentences. So that was the shirt dress that I really wanted to make. Again, no bodice. That, I've got three. I had three of them. So I've got another spare one. If anybody wants it, feel free to tell me. Then something that is too big for me and I've got a lot of similar ones so that's going to be given away and uh, that's going to be given away for the same reason because it starts with size 38 eight, which I think it's size 10 I think it's pre-cut to size 22 I think no 14 sorry if you want any of them let me know not that I don't have more but like ponchos and uh, I don't want to spend all day showing you all the patterns that's cool I mean I'm not sure if I'm going to make it but but that's that's cool as well and I will make a skirt at some point in the future there are just too many patterns I don't like anything here but we'll see because it's a multi-pattern pattern so there are quite a few things there then that I don't know maybe I can work with that again style it's probably quite roomy but but there are, sometimes I can read about something that I'm going to, to want to use something from this one and it's it's new I think it's not even opened and unfolded then that there are trousers trousers with buttons or snaps or whatever I don't know. We'll see. It's uh, Vogue easy. Vogue very easy. Vogue very easy is not never really very easy. I mean, sometimes perhaps. This one, Simplicity 8616. I quite like it. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it on me, but I quite like it. There is something charming about it. A lot of tops and... Uh, oh, I love the envelopes. I do love the envelopes. I just and the descriptions especially on uh, the older patterns the descriptions are so funny I quite like that the trousers they might be too big but we'll see I haven't really had a proper look at all of them I just want to give you an idea how lovely Naomi is that is very simple it's it's a top and a wrap skirt so style but I am tempted it's it's not a top it's like oh, how do you call it the, the body thingy new look easy dresses <sighs> enough <laughs> one more i like that and i like simplicity so i might do something some are like this one magic i don't know that that's the pattern and i don't remember what that was but i think a poncho yeah they have very very little in the way of the description but we'll see it's interesting. That's proper vintage, that is. That's sort of back in fashion, maybe with some, some changes. Well, the sleeves, some that I was tempted <laughs> to make, but I don't think I'm going to wear a lot of, of the sleeves and some underwear as well. Yeah, I mean, well, kind of big knickers and a cami top that I could use and a slip. Yeah, loads, loads and loads, but that's probably enough. I don't want you to get too bored now to the fabric so i bought some fabric well let me explain because uh, i haven't bought fabric for some time i just didn't feel like buying fabric but then i had a name day in may name day is just like a birthday but it's not so i needed to celebrate and i had to pick some fabric for myself <laughs> to, to buy some fabric for myself as a present 
And I know that my sister is coming, well, she hopefully will come in August and she's bringing me some fabric with her that I got for my name day. <laughs> she forced me to go online shopping with her. I mean, actually she had me in her phone and she showed me fabrics in the real shop because it was open then. But I got some fabric recently because I depleted my stash and uh, I like sewing on the spur of the moment. So I like having everything in my stash, everything that I might need for my idea. That's why I'm not going to let my stash go low. And I started using fabric from my mom's stash. Not that I don't have fabric. I do have my own fabric, loads of it, but I need some other types. Let's start, what do we, what do you want to start with? Let's start with uh, the textile center. I bought that and I've got this note because I don't remember what fabrics are. Poly bubble <laughs> crepe dress fabric material. Yeah. So this one, I loved it. And that is the reason why I just bought things from, from the textile center because I buy more things from the textile center to get the free delivery. But I like this and it's very floaty and it's see-through, quite see-through, not totally see-through, but quite see-through. So it will need a lining, but I bought it for a floaty top. And for a top, it would probably not need a lining. I love this. I love the colors. I love everything about this fabric. I never really buy anything with one pattern in mind. I know more or less that's what I want to do. So I want some sort of floaty top, but now I kind of want a dress. I don't know, we'll see. So then I bought that, it's a Liberty and it looks like Liberty. It's for linings and I thought maybe in the winter, they're not pre-washed yet. In the winter, I might make another coat for her chubby and I think, oh, it doesn't really show that nicely. The colors, they're more vivid. I can't really make it more vivid, sorry. But it's some sort of strange fabric. I don't know what it is, but I liked the print. It's kind of a bit like it was covered with something. It feels a bit like canvas that is waxed or some sort of waxing on it. It's very slippery, but quite sturdy. Perfect for a lining for a coat, I think. Oh, Jesus, it's getting hotter and hotter. So then I bought that and what is it? It's leaves. Sean from Kittenish Behaviour probably influenced me. So leaves in very, very pink and very, very green. And uh, I think it's polyester with some spandex, but it's not, not really stretchy. It's sort of like satin that has a bit of stretch. So I wouldn't treat it as a stretch fabric. And I want that for a dress. And then viscose lining look. I love that and I didn't know that it feels so nice because I thought linen is not really my thing because it creases so much and I'm not really a fan of ironing everything all the time. I bought it for a shirt dress of some sort. I mean, I've got three, I think, patterns that I want to do. I want to make three shirt dresses from uh, the patterns that I've got, but I don't remember which ones. And it's, it's more green than... I can see, but I love it. And it feels amazing. So how much was it? It wasn't expensive. Um, I don't think anything is expensive in the textile center. It's a brilliant shop for, for kind of wearable muslin fabric and for fabric that is good quality, but pretty cheap. Muted mint, silhouette, palms, print, spun, linen look, viscose dress, fabric material. That was six pounds a meter. $5.99, right? And then I've got this jersey that I want a floaty dress in. So it's kind of splodge thingy. It's ITY, so it's polyester with some spandex. So it is very clingy. It's not for everyone, I know, but I like ITY. I like clingy, <laughs> slippery, mm, kind of liquidy fabric. I do like it and I love the colors. And uh, yeah, I know it's it's perfect for a jumpsuit, but I don't wear jumpsuits. I just don't. Then I bought a lot of fabric from Stitchy B, <laughs> but it's only plain jersey. So, and this one is pre-washed because I need it. I need it for various purposes. And the next one, the next purchases, I blame Michelle from Sewing Bunny <laughs> for that because I thought I saw something similar. I generally I really like her taste in jersey or in prints. 
so I really like what she's got. <laughs> but she, she mentioned material girl over, and believe me or not, I had never bought anything from her from Material Girl Laura, so that's my first shop. And I'm very happy, very happy with the service, very happy with the fabric. So I bought this jersey, that's cotton jersey, so cotton plus some spandex, 5% of spandex. And that's that's quite a lot, I thought. I bought it for a top, but I thought if I buy two meters, I will have more room for whatever. I can make whatever I want. And it's quite a lot because the jerseys are probably wider. So I might make a dress. Right? Who knows? I love it. Very, very nice. Then I bought this and I really like it. And yeah, blue. <laughs> For some reason I like the, the, the colours. Right? So this is viscose jersey. Is it? Yeah. And uh, it's very pretty. And again, I wanted to top, but there is quite a lot of it. So I'm sort of wait. Well, I don't remember. I thought I bought a metre and a half, but maybe two metres. I don't have the, the piece of paper with everything listed on it, but it's very pretty. I like it a lot. So I thought that that's easily enough for a dress for me. I'm not very big. I can make a dress from a meter and a half usually. It depends what sort of dress. I love it. I love the colors and it feels really nice. They're not pre-washed. And this one, and I know that it was a remnant because Laura contacted me that she didn't have as much as she thought she had or something. That's fine because I wanted <laughs> all of them for tops. But again, that's probably quite quite enough to make a dress, see? We'll see. But, well, my intention is to make a top out of it. And it's, again, viscose jersey. Love it, love it, love it. She's got a lot of very, very pretty fabric. I'm surrounded by fabric, that's, that's... Okay, I'm going to show you quickly a few more things. That is a lot of lining in all the colors that I got for my name day uh, from Hajabi because he knows where I buy a lining and he knows that sometimes I get really frustrated because I can't find enough lining for something. So he bought me a few colors to make sure that whatever I make, there is some lining for it <laughs> in any color I want. I don't know where he bought it, but I've got my suspicions. So because he knows where I buy my lining. So I suppose some of it is from Gatrin Garni and some of it is from eBay, from one shop that I use, but but maybe not. So I don't know because that was my present for my name day, part of the present for my name day. Then I managed to buy something from Colville that wasn't the auction because for some reason I can't buy anything on uh, the auctions. I, I, I don't know. There are probably too many people. I just can't. It's impossible to buy anything. But I bought that during the week. So that's, I think it's called, or it was described as viscose jersey. I don't know, we'll see. But it didn't really shrink when I washed it because this one is pre-washed. But I wanted a dress, I like the print. I wanted a dress, <laughs> yeah, animal print and yeah. So I would like a long dress, but I don't know if I'm going to have any opportunity to wear a long dress. So that's it. It is slightly see-through. I've got the light on here to show you if it's see-through or not. But yeah, that's very loud. Perfect for a small person like me who wants to be seen. <laughs> right. Then scuba, that is medium weight, I think, scuba, because now he tells people what scuba it is and it's really nice and I love the print. So that's three meters. I think that was 12 pounds or maybe 15 pounds because that's that's usually what it is, right? So three meters is loads for me. I don't know why the colors here are not precisely as they are in real life. It's brighter because it seems really, really kind of mild green, but it's, it's properly green. I can't really show you, but, but well, you know, more or less. And another one, and uh, I think that was described described as ITY, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's like baby scuba, so again, polyester, but very lightweight for scuba, and I love it. And it's white with reddish and pinkish flowers. And 
again, it's perfect for a skirt, jumpsuit, for a dress. And it will probably be a dress. Three meters is a lot for me, so I'm probably going to have more. <laughs> I will probably, again, make some skirts for my sister as well. Is it upside down or is it directional? I don't know. It looks like that. Feels very nice. Right, and because it was my name day, so I got some gadgets as well as presents and I wanted to show you some. So my pattern notcher, right? I got that from Hachabi because I use a pattern notcher a lot because I notch my patterns. I also <laughs> attempt to draft my own patterns. And this is a really, really good gadget for me. It saves time and it makes the notches like proper so you can mark them later on your fabric if you cut them in, in your pattern. I do like it. I've got one. But this is my second one because I need one upstairs and one downstairs. <laughs> then it's the same with the owl or stiletto, whatever you call it. I need a few. And this is the most useful gadget for me. They're not expensive. You can buy them from China. It doesn't really matter if they're cheap or expensive. Really, it doesn't matter. This one is not expensive. And I use them both for patterns. And as I sew, I don't know if you do that, but I use my owl all the time when I sew. Then I've got something that surprisingly I found really, really useful. I've already used it. It's for hemming. So that is like a ruler, right? It's from Frim for hemming. So you just put your fabric, your hem around it. You decide how wide or narrow your hem is going to be and you press. And because it's paper, it's cardboard, you can press over it. And also, it's okay, yeah, well, it's kind of silly, but, but why not? It's, it's a present, so I don't care. That's for cuffs. But it's useful. It really is useful because I usually use metal rollers because I don't want plastic to get melted or something. And metal rollers get very hot. So, brilliant. I don't think it was expensive. So, if your rollers or whatever measuring your hems irritates you as you press, yeah. That, that's a cool thing. I find that prim gadgets very often I think are not going to be that great and then I find myself using them all the time. So yeah, they probably know what they're doing, right? And then I got a lot of snaps because I've got my press and I use snaps for everything. So I got a lot of snaps and these have the tool to insert them, right? But I don't need the tool, but it's a present too. I don't know, probably bought on Amazon or eBay or something, but, but the Hedge knows that I use them a lot all the time. And then what I wanted to show you is, I bought that from Erika Siskrin from Sweden. And I've made a tutorial about the, the binder or binding the kami top. You can see for yourself how it is used. I might make another tutorial. It depends if people want it or not, but I bought that because I already have a plate, right? That's that's the name of the company. So I've got the plate. That's, that's the adapter plate with the screws and everything. I've got the screws separately. That's for my Juki, for my cover stitch, for the Juki cover stitch. And I used this. This is generic, right? And this is not the best quality. So. That's for industrial machines and all that. And you can see that I marked where the screws should go to make my life easier. So I'm going to try that. I haven't tried it yet. I think it arrived yesterday. <laughs> so I haven't tried it yet, but I hope it's going to be better. It looks better quality, definitely. And she sends a sample of the knit binding as well and the instruction and everything. And uh, she sent me some blue tuck thing because she probably has no idea that I had already bought the plate and the plate works. So that was a proper haul. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.